I am the oldest of my siblings. Out of my siblings, rather. <clears throat> and the youngest was too young to remember our father. So we show her a picture. She doesn't remember because she was too young. We, we show her a picture of our father and my dad is holding her. She does not remember she was too young. And because he is my father, I look just like him. Only because he is my father, I still give him a certain amount of respect. Only because of this physical act. Because the reality is, he was a poor excuse for a man. He was a poor excuse for a father. And so I told the youngest sibling, you ain't missing nothing. Our daddy was foul. He, there wasn't too much I could say good about him. But she wanted to know. She still yearned to know now mind you she's not yearning and did not ask about grandfather or great great grandfather or great great grandfather she wanted to know about her father and this is natural the first step we want to know in life some of us who is my mother who is my father we don't we don't ask first we don't ask about grandmama. We don't ask about grandfather or who we was related to in 1930 or uh, 1845. We ask about the now. And so of course we do get to learn and no grandmother and grandfather, but we want to know first where we come from. Who is my mother? Who is our father? Now, there are those who want us to think backwards. Instead, as a people, knowing our own flesh and blood in the life, in the now, they want us to skip over our mother and our father and jump way over to grandmothers, great-grandmothers, and people that we have no idea ever lived. It doesn't make any sense. And so they do their research and they get the information and they bring to us history that they did not write. 
History is in the eyes of the beholder. History, the narrative can be changed. History is usually written from the viewpoint of the conqueror or those who are in power. History is written by human beings who are biased, who are prejudiced, who can be racist, who can be anti-female. How can we live in a world and the only thing we learn about is what men do? So you mean to tell me women have done nothing of significance in human history. Now for the blackity black pro-black audience there's a problem when white people manipulate history and they write the melanated people or the Africans or aboriginal however you want to say they write dark-skinned people out of history but there's no problem with not having females in the history it's all about the patriarchy it's all about the men that's all human history is about what men do or what women do under the influence, the domination of men, patri patriarchal systems. Even so, paternity court is about, I want to know my father. Who's the father? The now. They're not asking and don't care about the grandfather, great, great grandfather. We talking about the now. When you talk to these blackity black, pan African, obsessed with Africa type people, they want us to skip who we are, the now. And concentrate on a past on another continent that we never lived. They want us to deny who and what we are and what we know. So they call our brothers and sisters who say that they are Native Americans. The original Native Americans, that's a lie. You want to call people liars. We Africans. Now from my personal experience, even though I was taught, I was taught that I'm an African American, my ancestors from come from Africa, roots and Kuta Kinte and all that stuff. But from my personal experience in my community growing up, I heard us say and stories about being from the native people that was here. That's what I heard from among us. Who told us we was Africans? The same people that made a slave out of you and you say that he's a liar and he's a deceiver he's the one that told us to my knowledge nobody from Africa came over here and taught us you is from us we learned that we are Africans from the people that oppress us that's where we learned this from. Well, they should know. They also, they also can lie. Also, there are facts that we just ignore. 
because we have a we have a narrative that we have to sell. It is a fact in this country. Dark skin. I'm not talking about no the red man. According when you're doing your research, you will see that the early explorers there were very dark skinned African looking people already here. You cannot ignore that. I ain't talking about no red man. And the difference between the dark skinned people here and the dark skinned in Africa, if you notice, darker skinned people here have a red hue to our skin tone, rather in much of Africa. They have a blue, a blue hue to their skin tone. That's the difference. So maybe that's the reason why they was called the red man. No, just some dark skinned people because we are in different environments. Nevertheless, you cannot ignore that the oppressor called these see you, you cannot ignore this you cannot ignore these people was called they was called black at one time they was called negro at one time they was called african at one time the people that was here You cannot ignore the extreme mixing of the melanated and the Europeans together over hundreds of years. The people on the continent are not the same. The melanated people that was here aren't the same. Because of slavery, by force, they were all brought together and, because, and then it was raped. So you have European, Native American, African, and Africans. It's, it don't make any sense for you to go back and forth to Africa to get slaves when you have a ready source already here. It, it, the whole thing. The, the things that the Aboriginal community said a lot of it makes a, makes sense and if you really are somebody seeking truth how can you just ignore so if you have a group of people and you mix them up like that whatever whatever they was the descendants are not them because the descendants carry the dna of Europeans, Native Americans, Africans, Islanders, all kinds of stuff. But you want to bring a narrative like and talk like you're pure. Frederick Douglass said that the Negro is a brand new admixture people created on the slave plantation. That's what we are, a brand new. And you see it on, you see it among animals on farms. They create different horses, different kinds of cows and goats. That's what happened to this slave. That's what happened to this people that was made to be slaves. Created a brand new people. And we was called Negro. Yes, you carry the DNA of natives. Some who are known, some probably who are extinct. Yes, you carry the DNA of Africans. Some that are known, some that are extinct also. Because they did wipe some Africans and other melanated people. They wiped them out. But above all, you want us to embrace the past, but ignore the now and the and 
the future who and what we are I cannot do that and I'm not going to give our credit as soul brothers and sisters I'm not going to give our credit as the so called negro however you want to identify give our accomplishments to people that had nothing to do with who and what we are that's not fair to us so my sister don't want to don't care about what my grandfather did great great grandfather she wants to know her father the now who am I connected to now that we know for sure? You want me to connect to people I don't even know. Instead of embracing my living, known, biological family that I know. Here we are in America, the black man and woman in America, soul brothers and sisters. We develop our own swag, our own way of thinking, a culture within a culture. That's what soul power is. It's our culture within a culture. And we want to just throw it away and ignore it for some foreign stuff we don't know nothing about. You don't want to live like them. You don't want to live like yo the so, the Africans in the past. You want to drive your pretty car. You want to play on the internet. You love your air conditioning and your central heat. But you want us to go back to the past and talk about what they did in the past. You don't want to live that way. You don't want to live in a pyramid. You don't want to do that either. It's foreign. You don't know nothing about it. These people want you to be a grave robber. They want us to continue to worship the dead instead of concentrating on the now. Be proud of your living self, who we are now. And guide, guide our babies to the future. When babies are born, they are born for the future. They are not born to go back to the past. Especially a past they don't know nothing about. Babies are born for the now and the future. But these want to drag us. To a past we don't know nothing about. To a lifestyle and a culture that is foreign to us. We don't know nothing about. And even so. The first thing one. Would do. Is love themselves. Know your father. Know who you are first. And then you stretch out to learn about grandma and grandpa and great-great-grandfather. That was a different time. This is your time. It's more logical for you to fall in love. And it's more important for you to be who you are in the now. That's why I can't get with y'all program. Of loving strangers and obsessed with the past. We can't do that here. 